Well, new at four, a female pilot knew her height could be an issue when it came to flying a certain jet, but now she claims the real reason she is no, fl no longer flying with her former company is her gender. NBC4's Gordon Tokumatsu is live at Van Nuys Airport with more on her lawsuit. Gordon. Well, Carolyn, the company in question here is NetJets Aviation, which you can see has a regional office here at uh, Van Nuys Airport. The woman filing the lawsuit says she feels like a failure after being fired and has had trouble reapplying for several staff jobs ever since. Pilot Sherry Drerup says NetJets hired her back in 2015. She was involved in an intensive training program, specifically to fly the Phenom private jet, which we found images of on NetJets website. Now, during training, it became clear that Drerup was simply too short to fly that airplane, something even she admits. Her trainer suggested she wear platform shoes or carry a booster seat. But toward the end of her training, she says it became clear those solutions were simply not going to work and would be unsafe. Went to a meeting the next day expecting to be transferred to another airframe. And they handed me a termination letter, took my badge, took my credit card, took my iPad, took my cell phone, and treated me like a criminal. Drerup says NetJet discriminated against her because she is a woman. In her suit, she points out that at least three male employees were also found to be incapable of flying the Phenom, but because they were too tall. But they were all reassigned to other jets in the company's fleet and kept their jobs. Drerup says she's trained and rated to fly at least two of those aircraft, but was never given a chance. Now, we reached out to NetJet for a response today. They said they do not comment on ongoing litigation. Live in Van Nuys, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News. All right, Gordon, thank you.